Welcome back to challenge 9 of 21 days. In this video, we'll understand a challenge how to find out which month had the highest total sales. So, in order to find out the answer, we'll just click on this new measure and we'll write a DAX function over here. So, the question is find out which month is having the highest sales. Measure name as top sales month equals to and here what we'll do is we'll first define a variable. Okay, a table as a variable and the variable t we can add here columns. So in this place, we can just find out the values of a calendar month. This would be a calendar month. So it will give me all the name of the month, Jan, Feb, March, April, May and so on. And also I want to create a column named as sales column, which should give me only the total sales. Okay. So what is happening here? A new table is created with just name of the month. Name of the column is sales. It will contain only sales value. Okay, so that would be the first calculation. Now, second, we are into finding out the maximum uh, sales for a particular month. We'll write one more variable here as where uh, variable as a max sales equals to. Now, this would be a function to find out the maximum uh, sales. Okay, in this particular T table, find out where are the maximum sales. Now, understand this sales is now the name of the column. This T is the name of the a virtual table which is created. So we want to find out the maximum sales from here. Now, after that, we want to find out the result. Okay. To find out the result, what we can do here is we can uh, just filter the table. Okay. Filter the T table based on the sales value. Okay. Which should be the maximum sales. Wherever it is the max sales option, give us that particular value. That means from this T particular table, okay, we have a sales that particular column. And we want to find out what is the maximum sales. Okay, so we are trying to filter that table here. After filtering that data, now what do we want to return here? We want to return that particular uh, result, okay, which is having the name of the month. Okay, that should be the month name. And right now we can just select the option month and close a bracket. And finally, we can press enter. So what this will give us, this will give us the value. When you go back here, when you drag and drop the top month number, it's giving us 10. But uh, we were not looking for number 10. We wanted the month name, which should be the month of October. But let's go back and find out, do we have a month name? Okay, if you see, that's a month name given in this particular data. So the month name is given in the uh, calendar table. So one change we need to do in the function, we'll go back here. And instead of month, we'll just pick up here month name. Okay. Instead of month, we must add here the month name and perfect enter. Now, once we do that, this will tell us October month was a month where we had the highest sales. Okay. This is the particular month which we got at the highest sales. Now, if you want the lowest sales, instead of max, you write as min. Okay. Instead of max sales, obviously you have to change the name as well. And you can get the minimum sales for that particular year, entire year. So this was the example of challenge 9, which month had the highest total sales. In the next video, we'll take up another challenge on which weekday is AirPods Pro sold the most, whether it's sold on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on which particular day it is sold the maximum over here. So we'll see the solution of challenge 10 in the next video.